Sorry to just rock up like this, but I need to speak to you about something. I found something that could prove Dad didn't rob the factory. This was in his wallet. It's a receipt from the pawn shop for a ring. Right. A ring was found in the factory it was given to Jay. No one knows whose it is. They've asked all the staff. It hasn't been claimed. I think it was for you. Cheers for the land. Hello. Only us. Uh, Priya mentioned that she saw you yesterday. Glad all that's cleared up. Me too. You were right about everything. And I've been thinking about what I should do with my life. Well, whatever you decide, we're 110% behind you. I'm going to do an apprenticeship in hospitality. That's great. Really? What, what happened to being a doctor? David. Being realistic happened. I've always liked working with people. In the B&B. In the shop, even in the cafe. I'm gonna sit the kettle on. I reckon I'll be good at it. Well, I can teach you a thing or two. Hospitality runs my vein. <laughs> nice one. And I've already spoken to the college, so you can stop worrying. I'm not throwing my future away. If I'm honest, it's good to be back. There's only so much chest pumping and back slapping a guy can take. How's the person training? Yeah, well, I've, I've got some new clients, and, well, when the village hall's free, I'll get some new equipment, so, I mean, you know, the investment's really sorting us out. Well, you wouldn't have it unless I thought you'd make a success of it. And I'm keen to see how successful you'd be on the pitch. I thought we could have a kickabout, like the old days. And now you're nearly grown up. You may even stand a chance of winning. <laughs> uh, Nicola, where's our money? I've told you. We can't do anything until we definitely know about the insurance. Dawn, if I had the money, you'd have it. Really? Or maybe you'd keep it a cosy little secret like you did Kim's investment. Which we are still waiting to be official, as you well know. Well, you'd think as a shareholder and alleged best friend, I'd know about it before. What about our jobs? Are they safe now Kim's chipping in? Once we're up and running, all your jobs are 100% safe. Uh, Nicola, I was hoping to talk to you earlier about this. Finally managed to unlock those lips, have you? Well, not too little, too late. Excuse me. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to take this receipt to the police. This explains everything. He was planning something, this is it. Megan, you believe me, don't you? I want to. It's just a lot to take in. And this proved that he loved you. The last few days, nothing has added up. But this, this is the first thing that's made any sense of it. He assured me I had nothing to worry about and I didn't believe him. This time he was doing something good. He wanted to spend the rest of his life with you. Last time he gave me a ring when he asked me to marry him. And I messed it up. He ended up selling it. We really did love each other. It was like we were destined not to be together. Yeah, I think I can handle it, thanks, Graham. Right, I'm going for a coffee, unless you want to micromanage that as well. You know, 
You really should have kept quiet about the jobs being safe. But they are, aren't they? <sighs> Jay? You know, it all depends on Kim and keeping Nicola and her 1% on side. So what? You just said what you thought I wanted to hear. You had me lie to her while knowing all the time we could all be out of a job. It's not that simple. Oh, no, it, it is. She's already lived with me and now you've... Well, I've just lied to her again! I'm sorry, all right? Where are you going? Frank's funeral or are you too caught up in yourself to remember? Is this everyone? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. We told her then. Yeah, she deserved to know. Vanessa, I wanted to apologise for thinking the worst of your dad. I mean, getting this and knowing that he was going to propose, I know that I was wrong. What's this? Proof that Dad didn't rob the factory. Come on, Tracy, don't prove anything. I'm glad the ring found its rightful owner. The police have investigated, Tracy. There's no evidence that anybody else was there. For all we know, he still could have robbed the factory and bought the ring then. No. This proves he had a future all planned out. How would he risk losing that? He had no motive. I mean, surely that's obvious, isn't it? Can we not do this now? <gasps> Look, if you all think he's such a wrong one, then why are you even here? I mean, no one's forcing you. No one's got a gun to your head. Stop it! Just stop it! It's hard enough saying goodbye to Dad, but you're making things so much worse. Where are you when you are? Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I understand Tracy would like to say a few words. Hi, Anne. Me and Dad have been on quite a journey. For years, he wasn't really around, but then... we found each other in the end. I even found a sister I never knew I had. I'd never really felt a part of anything before. It wasn't until my wedding day a few years ago that I really believed. Dad loved me. <laughs> if it wasn't for him nicking a tractor, I would have never got here on time. But I did. <laughs> I was standing right there <laughs> where he is now. <laughs> I guess we all have um, a choice of how we want to remember him. He wasn't perfect. But who he really is. I choose to remember he had a heart of pure gold. And he never judged anyone. I choose to remember how he made me smile at the end of a hard day. And I choose to remember that he died a hero. Dad never gave up on me. And I will never give up on him. I'd like to say something. Is that okay? Yeah. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's amazing how easy it is to forget the good things about a person. Frank was wonderful. He was an incredible father. He loved his girls more than anything. He was a great friend, always buying around and 
giving everyone a laugh. But one negative can wipe all that good stuff away. Frank deserved to pack this place out. But his friends and neighbours chose to turn their back on him. His employers hung him out to dry, firing him, humiliating him. Even I thought the worst for a while. But now, we've got real evidence. A reason why he was at the factory that morning. And yet you still choose to believe that he's guilty. I'm disgusted at how easy it is for you to condemn him when he is not here to defend himself. It just goes to show what a small-minded, judgmental place we live in. So you know what? Shame on you. Shame on you all. Oh, hi. I couldn't take five minutes of your time, could I? Sure. Uh, kids, could you go and play upstairs for a bit? Little angels. I won't keep you long. I heard news of my investment has spread, and I thought as one shareholder to another, you deserved an explanation. <laughs> I deserved an explanation weeks ago when you and Jay started plotting behind my back. Yeah, well, I never asked him to keep my involvement under wraps. But he does like to be cagey. Hmm. I've known Jay for years. This behaviour is nothing new. Well, it's not fair you've been left out of pocket. Oh, we've definitely had to tighten our purse strings. Well, I'd like to help. So what would you say if I offered to buy your 1% share? <laughs> I'd say it's not for sale. Not even for £10,000? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Have you seen? She's uh, over there. Thank you, Henry. Interesting service. Mm -hmm. Not awkward at all. Yeah. Uncomfortable. Do you think we should go to the wake? Um, I think I just want some time alone, actually. Oh dear. What have you done? Doesn't matter. I'm going for a walk. Flowers are beautiful. I can't believe Megan did that. Tracy's eulogy was perfect. I don't know who she thinks she is. I'm gonna go and have a word, babe. No, 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 please don't. It'll only make things worse if that's possible. It's like I'm being made to feel like I don't love Dad enough because I'm not deluding myself about everything. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just couldn't hold it in longer. Yeah, you know what it needed saying? And you were bang on. I don't think I'll come to the crematorium. No, you have to be there. You're the only other person who believes in it. I can't handle it. I'm so angry at myself for doubting him. I just need some time. I'll come to the wake. I swear. You're wasting your time. I'm a woman of the people. I'd never sell out and abandon the other staff. I understand. 15,000. Not to mention the grief I've given Laurel for keeping Stum. 16. You can keep on saying numbers. You'll never change my mind. 17. I'd look like the world's biggest hypocrite. I'm sorry, my integrity means too much. I can't be bought. That's admirable. But I just want to get the ball rolling on the repairs for the benefit of everyone. Now, this is considerably more than your share is worth, but I'll give you 20 grand for it. A final offer. Nico, think about this. It's basically money for nothing. It's a very generous offer. So what do you say? Here you go. The holy trinity of gin, tonic and a slice of lemon. Thank you. It's lovely. 
It must be good to know that Frank loved you. It is. It also hurts to know I'm never gonna see him again. Maybe it's no coincidence that that ring found its way to you today. Frank wanted you to have it. It's a symbol of his love. I don't know how you can eat. I've literally never felt worse. Me too. Nearly over now, kid. Is it? This is going to be hanging over our heads for the rest of our lives. Hey. Oh, sorry, I didn't make the funeral. You didn't miss much. Apart from Megan saying how it is. Listen, do you think you did it? Everyone else does. I thought my dad committed suicide. No, because that's what the police said. So I had to accept it. Turns out they were wrong. Yeah, I think they're wrong about my dad too. Someone else started that fire, I know it. If that's the case, I you owe it to him to find out who it was. I will. Vanessa, I'm so sorry about earlier. It's just, I love your dad so much, and I can't bear to think of him shouldering the blame for something he didn't do. I need to get some air. Oh, will you give the grieving widow act a bit of a rest? I mean, you want enough all to do with the funeral, then you get flashed a bit of bling, and suddenly it's the Megan show. I mean, I still have no idea what I'm going to do in my life. Lion tamer. It's not dangerous enough, is it? I mean, you're lucky you know what you're doing. And it feels like you're putting all that misdemeanor stuff behind you. Yeah, I'm over all that. Really? Because I don't think that you are. I feel like you're just telling people what they want to hear. You still love her, don't you? What? You are so suspicious. Maybe you should train as a cop. I'm over her. Really, I am. Why is it that every time my life falls to pieces, you're there to stick the boot in? Maybe because your life is such a mess? My brother is missing because of you. My son died saving your life. Why can't you just let me grieve in peace? Oh, please, come off it. You denied Vanessa the chance to grieve, haven't you? Because you've nicked her sister, hijacked the funeral, and now you're just banging on about you and your feelings. What's of my pain doesn't matter. Well, to be fair, one minute you're climbing all over Graham, and the next he gets bored, so Frank's suddenly back in the picture. I mean, there was never more than a rebound, and you know it. Frank and I have always loved each other. Things might be very different if you hadn't ruined our first engagement. No, you doing the dirty with Graham put pay to that. Moral high ground keeps slipping away, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, and what do you know about morals? Do you know what? I pity you. Oh, you pity me, do you? Well, let's state some facts. What have you actually got? Because I'll tell you what I've got. I happen to have friends, a family, a relationship, a successful business. Yeah, and we all know it's just a matter of time before you screw that up, because that's what you do. You destroy everything you touch. You hurt everyone that you claim to love. Well, you know what? I may have nothing left, but I am grateful every single day that I'm not you. Nicola! Listen, I hate leaving things between us like this. Will you hear me out? Oh, we're off to the cinema, so make it quick. I'm sorry I betrayed your trust. I hated lying to you, and I swear it will never happen again. We all do things we're not comfortable with. You're never meant to hurt me, and that's what matters. Oh, you're being very good about this. There's no point letting it ruin our friendship. Come here. Oh, Nick, I'm so, so sorry. Good to see you've two sorted things out. No thanks to you. Can we talk? I don't think I've got time. Um, I realise that I just want to have a bit of a break from all of this. Dad seems to be coping much better with his back, so I'm going to go and stay with Caroline, take the kids. I'm sorry, OK? I'm trying to do what's best for everyone, but it's impossible. Yeah, I don't envy you, Jay. It's a nightmare. But I just need a bit of a breather, so I'll see you. Yeah. You made the right decision. Jay and Kim sound like a terrible combination. Better off well out and 20 grand up. Yeah, well, we'll be all right. What about everyone else?
Megan, please wait up. Charity was back out of order then. Yeah, she was right there, wasn't she? I mean, before I came here, I was a different person. I was outgoing, fun, successful. Over the years, I've lost everyone that I love. I've even lost myself. Oh, don't let Charity get in your head. Have you ever thought of packing up and moving out of here? Yeah, I have done in the past. Yeah, well, maybe you should. When I think of what I've got left, I've got nothing. You haven't got nothing, Megan. You've got friends here, people who love you. The truth is, this place will drag you down. I want more for me and Eliza. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm done. I finally had enough. I'm going to get things in place, and then I'm leaving. We're just over an hour away from that brand new feature-length Midsummer Murders on ITV. Join Barnaby and Winter for that new case at 8.30. Last night, we premiered our brilliant new drama, Sanditon, but don't worry if you missed it, because it's available on ITV Hub right now. Next, here tonight, it's your Arlong Curry after the break. <laughs>